Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is just going to be a, kind of a short uh, update. Um, the uh, effect of the vibration that kicks in, uh, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate that to you now uh, and you can hear wh what happens. So I have my box here secured and um, what I tried to do is actually uh, is increase my air gap and uh, I think basically what's happening is when it, that starts to vibrate why the box just starts sounding like it's going to fall to pieces is the uh, the rotor is uh, vibrating so much that it's clapping uh, on the surfaces of the uh, e-cores so what I thought is just like increasing that air, air gap between the I and the E on the rotor and uh, trying that out but what happens is the inductance uh, just drops so much that it doesn't happen uh, with uh, a known capacitor anyways of value that I uh, have uh, got the effect. So anyways I've brought it back to where it was and now I can get the effect around 61 or 62 Hertz and that's what I'll do now. Uh, I have <clears throat> uh, two capacitors these are five uh, microfarad uh, capacitors uh, I have two of them in series and uh, I'm quite sure this is beyond the uh, voltage. Uh, what happens is beyond the voltage that these capacitors can handle. But that's that's what I have right now, anyways. Uh, that should be able to handle uh, easily a thousand volts uh, to these in, in series, and we should have about two and a half microfarads uh, with that. And I have my hundred times uh, probe attached to this because the voltage just gets crazy out of hand and uh, I have the scope uh, here hooked up uh, and if you look at the uh, times that's the times 100 and actually I'll bring this to um, to the highest uh, point here uh, so that's a 500 uh, volt uh, scale which is the maximum uh, this can go with the probe so every uh, square here is the equivalent of 500 volts and you'll see once this takes off for just like a you know a, a second or so uh, it just goes off the scale uh, voltage wise anyways and what happens <clears throat> basically when it starts to vibrate like that what I believe because it just does it and then it just makes such a loud noise I think basically the uh, the uh, the eyes uh, ro the rotor is actually rubbing on the surface because of that vibration and it just like breaks it just it, it just puts on the brakes so there's they're like big brake pads basically so you're gonna just hear it I'm gonna let it cycle maybe two or three times uh, in that frequency and you'll see the voltage starts to build up and then it just goes crazy and it does that you know loud loud vibration and then it just stops because like I say uh, I'm quite sure the uh, rotor is then rubbing on the uh, surface of the uh, e cores and just breaking, uh, causing a breaking effect. So let's uh, let's start it out without uh, delay here. So the frequency drive is set to slowly um, go up to uh, 60, uh, around 60 hertz, 61. I think it's going to stop. We'll just let it uh, work its way slowly up there and it's really flat line right now there's no activity because the uh, well we can have a look there there is the voltage uh, in RMS value right there so we're at uh, 5960 it'll start pretty well right there that's where I've got a program to start uh, to stop and as you see we're still in the uh, 30 volt uh, range there you can't see the sine wave because it's uh, if I bring up the uh, sensitivity it, you're just gonna it's just gonna go off the chart uh, I'm just trying to give you the uh, best view of what happens so I'm going to increase the frequency and you're gonna see suddenly uh, the sine wave starts to appear because it's going to go in that uh, resonant state so I'm slowly uh, bringing up the frequency here until it goes into that 
resonant state here. There you go, you see it? It's building up right there. Okay, so we're really close right now. I'm just gonna go a little fractions. Hmm, that's interesting, it kind of went back down. It's going down now. Well, that's interesting. We had a stronger one. Around there. Okay, I kind of hear something right now. It might start doing it here. Right there. Starting to build up. Now you heard, you heard it just like slap. And now it'll start again. So there's a very specific frequency. So you saw it actually go off the uh, off the charts there, and that would be in the uh, kilovolt range. Let's have a look here, see if the bulbs uh, come on at all when that does that. I never even really looked at that. Yeah, there you go. So you see the bulbs, there are two bulbs. And uh, try to give you a shot of the two bulbs. And you'll see them momentarily lighting when uh, that happens. Now sometimes after it's been slapping itself like that a few times oh no now I gotta drop it I think it's very look at that 62.1 it'll start happening there yeah there you go you saw both both uh, bulbs come on We're down at 62 62 Hertz seems to be the frequency it just uh, really kicks in like that So that's uh, what I wanted to share and I think uh, this is uh, something that needs to be uh, researched and better understood and it merits uh, our investigation and time. Let's try it one more time, I'm going to drop it, there you go. So basically the uh, rotor just comes pretty well to a full uh, stop once it slaps against those and that's my design it's you know just for testing this is not the real thing it's just for testing the concept so I hope you understand that this is not a exact replication but it's surely uh, showing uh, what is being claimed here and I think that's what's important so thanks for your interest and uh, wishing you all the best bye now